Good morning, good day, good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to my live. I am going to, um, you know, talk about um, my chicken delivery. Um, it's kind of come as a shock um, right now. So, um, as you can tell, I just killed yesterday. Um, they just went on the fridge to get, you know, set, thawed out, and to, um, to, um, you know, you, so I have two factor that I can't do no delivery of chicken today or tomorrow. I was planning on doing it Monday and the rest of the week. And just because of the, the sudden lockdown for seven days, I will be unable to go not to do any delivery. I am practically doing a wedding early in the morning tomorrow. Um, so, and even if I didn't want it to do some delivery of chicken tomorrow, I couldn't do it the same way. Um, the, the, the bus, the gasket on the, on, on the bus or the, 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 the engine head or whatever did blow. So I was trying to get it, um, put together and sort out. Um, and, um, it didn't, it didn't finish. So I don't have no way of having a freezer, a freezer in the bus. I couldn't drive the bus. So as you can see, the chicken name is right here. They are, they are not freeze frozen as yet for me to put them in the back of my car to take them to go and deliver them. So, um, unfortunately I can't do no delivery of chicken until <coughs> after the seven days lockdown. All right, so I have three fridge that occupy right now. So all the persons who buy chicken for me, I sorry for the inconvenience, which I didn't know that it was going to come this sudden. Uh, as I was planning on do my delivery, deliver of chicken this coming um, week, which is Monday week. So unfortunately I can't do any delivery of chicken. It's shock to everybody. So what we have to do morning, we have to scramble running up and down to go look food. You know, I already have meat. I already have meat. I already have chicken that I can cook, you know. So we have to get with seasoning and really little thing to put together um, to, um, to kept in our house. That's basically what we have to do right now so i won't be able to deliver any chicken for this week any event that i have after tomorrow you would have to cancel because you know no movement unfortunately we go through that right there right now it is a pushback um so there's you know a few things that i really wanted to talk to you guys about i have i have been on social media now from Good while, good while. You know, I've seen everything about my life and how, you know, sometimes I, you know, bring Christine, my situation, family issue and everything. And, and, and I think I'm going to take a break to, to really, you know, be, reach out and search my life, search myself. Um, you know, get back into the quiet with God. Um, you know, I do, I do. I believe that there is a God, and we 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 all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all have, we all have faltered, we all have made mistakes. He said, "I'm back the chicken." So he said, "Um, he said, bake the just when I bake in the chicken, I I definitely will bake it. You know, I, I'm not going to fry no more on my chicken or anything. I I will bake it, um, cook it up with vegetable, steam it or do whatever. I wonder if anyone understand me." Um, I wanted to give social media just a few weeks to reflect. And I'm not going to reflect myself that, okay, I'm coming on it. I might not do the morning devotion and then I might do, do a live and then in the middle of the day, you see me popped up doing something. That would not make no sense either. So I won't be coming on the live doing any morning devotion. I'm not coming on the live to do any evening live or any funny things. I wanted to. You know, because at the end of the day, we all have to reach out to our God. You know what I'm saying? And say, God, this is me. 
you know, man cannot fix my heart. And I know my heart is in the right place with God. And if anybody understand, I want, to get, I want to go into the quiet and say, God, you know me. You know where my heart is like. You know, you know, you know me from I was born from my mother womb. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who calling me for charity, I won't answer the phone. And you call me and ask me for giving things. I'm going to tell you straight up. This is not the call. I am only coming on live to advertise the sale of my chicken and to let people know that the chicken is ready or the chicken. That's the only thing. And that would be six weeks when I put in chicken and it come in, I will show you when they come and I will show you when they go. That's it. I am not going to go on live to do any kind of charity. I'm not going on live to do any kind. It, missing is not evil. It's not about miss. It's about getting my priority straight. It's looking at myself. I don't want it to get distraction or get distracted by my kids, by my daughter, by anybody who come up here. I tell everybody who come around to just remove. I remove myself from everybody stay at your house i will stay at my house you know what i'm saying and i wanted to talk to him and him alone you know what i'm saying that is my decision that i'm going to make with god god take me let let me understand you know the principle of you let me understand the 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 I don't want my daughter to call me and ask me, Dad, what for this? Yes, you can talk to me. I'm not going to distance myself from my family. But I wanted to spend some time to get back to the place that I once was. To get back into a relationship with God. You understand what I'm saying? It put me back because I was depending on the chicken to pay some of my bills and to take care of some of my expenses on those who what didn't sell to get more sale coming. Some of them died and, you know, I have them in the fridge and I don't want the fans or the persons them who I'm selling chicken to, to feel like, you know, it's not nothing that I have done to disappoint. Um, um, the selling of the chicken is what the government has said, that we can't go on the street um, for a couple of days. And, and, you know, I am not going to you know, put a freezer in a me van or where and then just try to break protocol. That's not me. That's not a, what, what I wanted to do. So if anyone who purchased ticket from me can wait until after it, I, I, I felt, you know, much better to um, know that, you know, I, I definitely can, you know, can. It's not the point that the chicken them is finished. Them is still here, but I just can't. I just can't go on the street to go deliver it um, tomorrow, Sunday, or Monday. I wish I could do it to today. I wish I could do it today, but nothing freezing. Nothing has frozen. I, I wish I could do it um, tomorrow, but it's still don't frozen. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could do it Sunday, but Sunday is no movement. All right, so for all those who buy chicken from me, you don't know me, your chicken will be delivered. And as soon as... I get the chance and as soon as a place free up a time for everything is a time for everything you know what i'm saying a time for everything and the time for me is to to to, to take a step back time for me to take one step back you know well zazan is on live okay it's time for me to pull back and say god here i am here i am Again, I have committed my life to God from 2004 and I have never taken that, that commitment from him. I have never walked away. You might step aside and you might do things in, in such a way wherein you lose focus at time. And everybody also do that. Every, everybody also, the song said, we fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. You know, and I wanted to get up and get up stronger than before. I don't want it to come back. If I come back on live next year, next month, next week, next three months, I don't want to come back on live saying the same thing or doing the same thing. It can't be business as usual. It cannot be the same um, life. Yes, yes, I'm a comedian and I'm not, I'm not going to make you laugh, but the seriousness of doing something so people can see you 
all of us who are on social media who do live, we are role model for we all need to do that. We, we, we all are role model to everyone. You know what I'm saying? We all are role model for everyone and high LaSalle, Parnell, willing. You know, you know, it doesn't matter what, what, what comes at me. I choose to just stay in the comfort of God. None of us are perfect. Well, I don't know for nobody's, but I, LaSalle, is not perfect. So I just want to tell my fans, my crew, my friends, that I will I won't be so when if 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 persons who don't see this live or hear about this live and um you know ask me why it's not an explanation to explain to anybody why I feel like the time is come you know and I feel I get encouraged from friends to say take a take a step back and reinvent your life. Yeah, I, I've get encouragement. So I'm not going to say, okay, it's an idea that come up out of the blue. I get encouragement that, you know, just just set back for a little bit. Just step back for a little bit. Yesterday I was talking to somebody. And as soon as I called that person, as soon as I called the individual, I could hear the individual was praying. Was praying in the background. And that individual was praying for me also. You know? You see, truth be told, we all need a little restoration in our life. We all need a little step back. And if, if I'm saying anything wrong, you know, the life that I do in the morning and the life that I do in the evening doesn't make me, doesn't make me I, 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 if I don't do the live, then people won't come on. As soon as I come on, well, the one them who despise me, the one them who feel, you know, putting up the mean face or anything. If I don't come on live, you can't put up a mean face if I'm not there. <laughs> you can't get 30 pound of chicken today, sorry. You can't get 30 pound of chicken today. I won't be the one who come to deliver that chicken anywhere all right so finding myself the song said finding myself as a loss for words and the funny thing is it's okay the last thing i need it's to be heard, but to hear what you would say, word of God speak. Would you pour down like rain, watching my eyes to see your majesty, to be still and known you're in this place. Please let me stay and rest in your holiness. Word of God speak. Finding myself in the midst of you. Beyond the music, beyond the noise. All that I need is to be with you in the quiet. To hear your voice, word of God speak. Will you pour down like rain, washing my eyes to see God, your majesty, to be still and know you're in this place. God, please let me stay and rest in your holiness. Word of God speak. Sometimes we have to find ourselves. I lay down a couple of nights ago and I asked God, I started to speak to him. And I said, God, why am I struggling with this ability, this, this ability of you know comprehending a lot of stuff? I can't pick up the Bible and I can't pick up 
um, certain you know scripture and read as much as somebody else. And as I lay down on my back, something just come to me. I, I, like it's like a voice. I, I, I want to say like God speak to me over there, but it's an inner peace said to me, say that I have to give you a different kind of ability. Like I gave you a different kind of ability. Other persons can sing. Other persons can, 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 you know, have the ability to. They are minister in songs. I gave you a different kind of ability, and and, and it's like I saying what, and I started to think, and he said, um, look at look, and I started. I don't know too much about autism, kids, but he said, it, like like I saying, look at a kid with a with a disability of autism. They are so smart with with the, with 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 the, with, the, with, the, with the disability with with what they have. They have a sense of a different kind of ability. They're smart with what they do. They are intelligent with what they do. And probably me or you, as a person who can read and write, go to have education and go to high school, can't even do nothing like what they do. He said that of the ability. Um, but you might have that great ability to do certain things. But if you don't have, if you don't really and truly, you know, yes, we, we can have God that walk with us, talk with us. But yes, sometimes we wanted God to come down to our level. We wanted God to come down to us and say, okay, let me, no, we can't make it come down to us. We got to go up to him. We always have to go up to his level and he will bring us there. And sometimes we fall. I don't care who might try to box me down, try to keep me down. We all fall short. We all as fall short of the glory of God. And he, his mercy is sufficient for us. His mercy is always sufficient for us. So um, I, I'm not going to drag this life out or to do any other things that is, is not even called for. You know what I'm saying? Or not even. When I mean not even called for, I wanted to say, keep on saying something. I mean what I said. I have to talk to God in the time, in my car, in the bathroom. You know, somebody said to me that push the shoes all the way up under your bed. When you're going and you push the shoes, the best shoes, that the nicest shoes that you wear, push them underneath the bed. That means when you come off of the bed for look for your shoes, you have to bend down. And every time you bend down or kneel down, it reminded you, pray, no get up before you pray. And I said, whoa. How small that is. I'm not coming off all fiddly or, or some if I if I seen something pop up. No. I am coming off for a good while. I'm getting my life in order. I am getting back my relationship fully with my maker. I have to. I have to. There's a gentleman that in my community, in my community, that they was doing the COVID test and he went to take it. In my community. And he take the shots and he never went home. Right there at the, at, at the clinic that, the, that he take the shot, he collapsed. In my community. Time is short. And am I trying to gain as much friends and sell as much chicken and, 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 and save as much money? But all the chicken that I'm raising and all the money that I'm making and all the love that I'm trying to pour out there and all the people that I'm trying to help and all the food that I try to cook and all the person that I try to give a love package. If everything that I'm doing is just being vain, it wouldn't make no sense. If everything that I'm doing, I'm losing my soul behind it. It wouldn't make no sense. With all the love that you guys giving me and all the care that you guys care and everything, but there's no love there. And I know you guys love me and I know you, there's a heart. And, you know, and nobody has never teared me down. The only thing a lot of persons are friends trying to do is to encourage me. But if you encouraging me and I can't encourage myself, it don't make no sense. 
And if you agree with me, thumbs up. There's nothing else I can't say. I don't want nobody call me and ask me any question. If you don't, if you call me and you can't pray with me, if you call me, you can't encourage me. I don't need your prayer. I don't need a phone call. If you can't call me to inspire me, if you can't call me to uplift me, if you can't call me to motivate me, I don't need your call. I can't continue to do things the same way. I can't continue to, to, you have to learn how to, to say, I am not tangling. My life is more important. My life is more important. My soul is more important than I walk around and give a person, I give a hundred person a chicken. My soul is more important than my child, than my grandkids, because they have to give an account for their own. So people, after today, if it's not about the chicken, Brother Lasset is taking a break. Mr. Handsome Girlie, our big boy, is taking a break. My friends, you have my number. You can call me. And we can talk. And we can reason. And we can encourage each other. But this is it for me. This is it for me. I have no choice but to seek and to get back and to get back a proper relationship, to get back a communication with God. You know, a lot of times I am never going to sit right there and they say, some say um, speak to my heart, Lord. I need a word from you. If I can hear from you, then I know what to do. I won't go alone. Your spirit guys, they say high and sharp in it, high and iron, sharp and iron. Iron, sharp, iron. We need it. We need it. We need a sharpening from each other. Song say, I need you. You need me. We are all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. What's your number? My number right here is 419. Somebody was at 1 1 8 7 6 4 1 nine three five three five that is my personal that's my number you know yes sir did anyone to just announce it brother no, I tell you a lady you what you're why why you're a joker brother that's that and that's what you're saying i make no sense what you're saying i make no sense here Oh, that's my number right there. So I want to thank you guys for your support over the months, over the years. And as I said before, if it's not about the chicken, um, I, I won't even come live to do a chicken. Probably I just do a post and let people know when I'm coming and, and um, I will be delivered a chicken after this weekend over. Big up to Guyana in the building. So I want to thank you guys, all my friends, my family. I'm signing off. I'm signing off, sign, signing off for now. God bless you and have a wonderful afternoon.